this library, it seems that many students here are working diligently and getting a lot accomplished during this time. You may be surprised to learn that all of them are currently cutting their class. Third block has become a joke to them. They think that coming here during lunch is fine and that no one's going to figure it out. Here's Eric Clark on more. Personally, I'm skipping class right now. See this Ken Ken? It's got nothing to do with class. Nothing at all. These kids, take a close look. Most of them are texting. The rest of them, not, not, nothing to do with school. Nothing to do with school. Pretty sure Andrew's reading some magazine about the Phillies. I don't know what he's doing over there, but it's nothing to do with school. That's for certain. See, he's writing stuff down, he's erasing some things. He's just gotten good at this. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. That's got nothing to do with school right now. He's checking out his fantasy league. He prints it off the computer and then checks out his fantasy points. He makes some corrections. The only man currently working right now is Josh Carl. Very very good worker. Diligent, he always knows what he's doing. He's got a lot of physics going through the head right now. Checking out a, I believe that's acceleration, as a pencil falls and its final force as it hits the table. There are many females here texting, as you may notice. Most of the problem with texting starts with the females. It's become their new form of gossip around here. You know, when you can't talk to your other kids, you are the friends, really, that are in class and are unable to cut. You've got to text them. How else are you supposed to know what's going on in their life? You text them. You text, and you text them more. Unlimited texting. Most of these kids are pulling off 40, 50, 60,000 texts a month during school hours. 7.40 to 2.45. Texting machines. See that in her hand? Think that's a pencil? Think that's some sort of eraser device? No. It's a cell phone. Alright? She uses it to communicate with her other little girls. Yeah, you think he's Googling something right now? You think he's uh, checking out Moodle? Checking out his grades? He's texting. We all know he's texting. Some of the older folks around this school, the teachers, think that you can only text on cell phones. They think that that's the only means of communication with your cohorts. But no, he's texting through soccer.com. Like I've said before, Andrew's a professional. He knows what he's doing. Watch him. Watch him. Every time he changes his site, you know what he's typing into that URL? What are you doing tonight? Huh? Megan, you want to go out on a date tonight? He's got his stuff down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to Many students think that this new form of texting using pencils and erasers is safe and that they won't be caught and there will be no sort of repercussions for their actions. But recent studies are showing that texting during school hours causes all sorts of cancer. Lung cancer, heart cancer, even colon cancer. It's a serious problem and we need to stop it. Peter shows up every day around 12.30. We're not really sure why he's here. We all know this is his lunch hour. Some think he may have a problem with anorexia. Look how thin he is. He tries to attribute it to his vast amount of running. But we know what the problem is. He's got an eating disorder. It's a serious, serious issue. And he takes it out with physics work, trying to help his friends act like nothing's going on. The only thing he's eaten in the past week is a light salad. <laughs> See this here? That's a calculator. It causes cancer. Colon cancer, lung cancer, testicular cancer, all sorts of cancer. You may think that I'm really putting good use to my time with this Ken Ken, learning a few things, strengthening my brain. Now it's texting. It's always 
texting. This guy, he's texting. You think he's signing up for homeroom tomorrow? No, he's texting. Right now. Hey, hey, what you doing tonight? Yeah? Oh man, it's gonna be fun. Texting, 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 texting. Back to our professional Andrew. He didn't even show up for first block today. You know what he was doing? He was in the library, texting. Dictionary.com? Yeah. Learning new slang words for texting. He's a good texter. He knows his texting. I heard that third block, he actually teaches a class on texting. All these kids here? Here, try that. They're learning from Andrew, the professional. Look at them. They're all texting Andrew right now. They want to know how to do it, how to be the Andrew Her of texting. Those kids at the other computer? You know that blank screen over there? You think he's not doing anything? He's texting. He's texting right now with his mind. Got another one here. Signing in for homeroom. Yeah, sure. No, she's texting. This is host editor there? She claims to help students sign in. No, she's in on it. She's texting. Oh, yeah. She texts all day. Andrew, just print out some more fantasy stats. You know what he's going to do with those? You got to text them. What are you doing? What do we got? No one knows. Going to help out a student? What's going on over there? Texting? Yeah. Yeah, she's texting. Okay. She just told me to ask you. Yeah, they're always texting. 12 9. Talking with friends, doing some schoolwork, texting. How do you feel about all this texting going on? Dylan Swanson. Is texting going on? He's conducting an interview. Interview? No. He's texting. I'm doing work. He writes down things on that magic piece of paper. You know what that's causing? Colon cancer. Rectal cancer. Ryan Mays over there? Looks like he's sucking on a lollipop, right? No, he's not lollipop to text. He knows what he's doing. Andrew's taught him well. Texting. Texting 101, texting 202. He's texting. Kids are coming in. They're sleepy, they're tired. You know why? Because they've been texting. Texting, texting, texting. Now, I'll admit that the cancer causing texts only happen during school. But their school work, their school load is just failing terribly because of this texting. <laughs> I can't stand for it. See Mr. Crow up there on his read poster? Sid Arthur by Herman Essie? No. It's a cell phone. He's texted. You see all these kids working hard, getting food, re-energizing for their fourth block? No, nah, they're texting. They're all texting. Are you going to stand for it? This is a serious problem in our world. It's taking over Penn Manor High School. The cancer it is causing. You're not going to let it go, Ken. Are you? Are you just going to let it go? This is texting.